Welcome to Wild of the World and you're still joining me on a road trip on the west coast of Australia. We started in Perth in the previous episodes, but as you can see, I'm no longer in the city. We're cruising the west coast all the way up to Broome and in this episode you see some natural wonders like the Ningaloo Reef over here. In this episode you'll see a part of our journey along the west coast of Australia and we do this with a rental camper that we got from WA Experts in Western Australia. It's a sick 4x4 with a rooftop tent so full of adventure. This is what you saw so far. Through the most beautiful nature we drove to Shark Bay. For spectacular views and lots of wild animals. We've been driving a long route already along the west coast of Australia and if I can notice one difference with the east coast is that there's so much beautiful nature here that sometimes you drive for hours with nothing there. So no cell phone reach, uh, no shops and no campsites. It doesn't really matter because we found a little place in between the Shark Bay and the Ningaloo Reef that we're heading towards and it's Carnarvon. Uh, we're staying here on a nice campsite so we can do some shopping and do some watching television and stuff and after that it's into the bush again. The town of Carnarvon is super remote but it has everything to take a well-deserved break from the traveling. We stock up on food, fill up the car on gas and discover the history of this city. Carnarvon is truly an Aboriginal town, but it has also had a turbulent colonial past since 1883. About 80% of all the fruit and vegetables in Western Australia come from here. And off the coast this is the most southern tip of the Ningaloo Reef. But to visit that beautiful reef we drive another 3 hours up north, to a world famous sky blue bay. So we found the perfect campsite near to the Coral Bay. And Coral Bay is one of the most beautiful areas on the west coast of Australia because of its blue waters and perfect white sand beaches. It's next to the Ningaloo Reef and the Ningaloo Reef is the equivalent of the Great Barrier Reef that you have on the east side of Australia, but this is the one on the west side and it's just as pretty. We're staying on this beach today, but we're also going to explore some beaches in the area because there are so many beautiful spots down here. There are worse places to set up camp. Coral Bay has two campsites and they both cost about 40 bucks a night. But for that money, you're in the middle of this snorkeling paradise. We drove a bit further up north and there are so many beautiful beaches and one of them on a cape is called Skeleton Beach. Uh, we're going onto the beach with the 4x4, I just have to get some pressure out of the tires. How adventurous is this? With our four-wheel drive we cross the beach to the very tip called Cape Maud.
time for some fish and chips and beers. Today it's time to explore that Ningaloo Reef, which is one of the most beautiful reefs in the world. And in comparison to the other one, the Great Barrier Reef, the reef starts right at the beach. So today we drove to the lagoon and to Oyster Bridge, two beautiful snorkeling spots. So let's explore the underwater world of West Australia. We lower the tire pressure to about 15 PSI, as we will be cruising through the soft sand of these dunes. The whole route and the bizarre views along the coast just north of Coral Bay are already breathtaking. And we haven't even been in the water yet. In the lagoon there are many colored fish and sea turtles. We drive on to Oyster Bridge and are so remote now that it feels like the end of the world. The sand here is so white that it looks like snow. Wow guys, that last drive towards Oyster Bridge was one of the best scenic drives I ever had. You saw it with the drone over the sand dunes down to the beach with this crazy blue water and we felt like the only people on earth over there. Uh, but now we're moving on, behind me the sign says it all, from Coral Bay to Exmouth. Check in next time to see even more of that Ningaloo Reef and also the Cape Range National Park. And then we head on into the outback to Carrigini. Subscribe to our channel and experience it all with us. Ciao!